Let's take a look at how to optimize your Google Ads device targeting. Now I'm in the new user interface. Uh, for a period of time you'll be able to switch between the new and the old one up here. Um, but once you're in your Google Ads account, under Campaigns, uh, if you select under Insights and Reports, you got to click this little drop down. But you'll select when and where ads showed. And then from there, you'll want to make sure you navigate to the Devices tab, which is right here. And then you should see something like mobile phones, computers, tablets. Depending on how much data you have in your account, how long you've been running ads for, you may not have all of these. Um, but once you've been running ads for a while, what I recommend is choosing a significant date range. So this is a full year of data here. Because when you're looking at device targeting, you want to have enough data to know for certain you know, what the results are from showing ads on those different devices. Like tablets here, you can see there's only 113 clicks. That may not be a very significant amount of data in order to determine whether or not tablets are really benefiting us or hurting us. However, you know, this one has 3,000 clicks, this one has 1,000 clicks. I would say probably around 500 clicks is enough to be able to start to determine how things are really shaping up. And so in this account, we've got plenty of data. You know, we've run like 20, 30 something thousand dollars in ads just between mobile phones and computers. And then you may not have all of these columns here. You can always add columns by going to modify here and add in whatever necessary columns you want to be able to check. And the things I would look out for are like the number of conversions, conversion rate, cost per conversion, and the conversion value, assuming that you have that set up already. So like we can see for mobile phones in this campaign, uh, the cost per conversion is $37. It's generated almost $200,000 worth of uh, business from $23,000 in ad spend. So that's looking pretty good. Computers... This is not quite as good here. You know, it's a $40 cost per conversion, but it's really not that much different. In some cases, you'll find, depending on what product or service you're marketing, that mobile phones way outperforms computers, or vice versa. You know, sometimes it's computers way outperforms uh, mobile phones. So you just really want to determine what's performing best. And then the way you would optimize this is at the uh, bid adjustment right here. So let's say, you know, computers is not performing quite as well and we're just not really finding that we're getting a lot from it. What we could do is click on this little edit tool here and we could decrease our bid. So we could say, you know, we want to be spending about 20% less to get these conversions from computers simply because it's costing more, you know, the quality is not all that great, et cetera, et cetera. So in this example, instead of spending $10 per click to get clicks from computers in this campaign, we're only going to be spending $8 per click. If we were to save that, what that would potentially do is drive this cost per conversion down a bit, which then might make it worth continuing to run on computers. Of course, you could decrease this by whatever 90 percent and then it's probably not going to run at all in which case you can pretty much just get rid of you know, the clicks coming from that specific type of device but again the biggest thing is to make sure you have enough data that if you just started running your ads and you start messing around with these it can actually screw things up quite a bit <laughs> if you don't already have enough data to determine how something's really performing. So you need a statistically significant data set in order to be able to make a determination about how you should be adjusting your your bids here so that you can get the best performance from different devices on the platform or people using different devices for finding you. So I hope you found that helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out and just drop your questions in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. 
Um, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that you know this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth so feel free to reach out you can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you